I had my screening mammogram in June of 2013, and there was a questionable area. Um, so it was recommended that I have a repeat in six months. I got a letter and a phone call from LG Health saying, you know, it's time for this. And I had it written down, I was on top of it, but I, uh, it, it felt good to know that somebody else was looking out after me. Then I had the repeat mammogram and that uh, revealed that it was cancerous. When the biopsy results came back, uh, it was determined that I would need bilateral mastectomies and reconstruction. Lancaster General is Penn Medicine now, and we can take full advantage of the opportunities that Penn has offered to me specifically. The plastic surgeon from the University of Pennsylvania, he came very highly recommended, who sort of wrote the book on this deep procedure uh, to take care of me, uh, and that we have that in Lancaster. I want other women to know that this is the kind of care that LG and Penn Medicine are gonna give you. Um, and the care afterwards, especially in the initial 24 hours is intensive. The nurses, I can't say enough good things about them. They took amazingly good care of me. They anticipated my needs. LG nurses are specially trained in the post-op care of a patient with this procedure, and I could tell. I had my first round of chemo on my 47th birthday. Everyone at the Ambie Barshinger Cancer Institute really guided me. I was there every three weeks for an entire year. I feel like they really worked with me um, so that treatment didn't interfere with my life. Going into this as a nurse, I had some preconceived notions of what good care was. Well, I got really good care. It exceeded my expectations. I take care of children and babies and families, and to be able to still do that and be treated at the same time was, was huge. I would, got tremendous support from my coworkers. I remember the day before I had my first chemo, I walk into the office and the girl at the front desk is in pink. I walk down the hall and I see one of the pediatricians I work with in pink. Everyone in the office had dressed in pink to show their support. I'm so grateful to everyone at the Ambie Barshinger Cancer Institute, um, from the guy who drove the golf cart to the girls at the front desk, to the two amazing patient care assistants who were always doing something goofy just to make you smile and make everybody who was there smile. On the last day of chemo, they had a banner and a sign saying, no more chemo. I feel wonderful. I am back to doing all the things I love to do. I love to be with my children. I love to be with my husband. We love to go places and do things. We like to be outside and just enjoy everything together. And we really have a great time. I have lots of friends and extended family, and my daughter likes to ride horses. And I love tennis. Tennis uh, really kept me going, I think, when I was uh, going through treatment. Uh, it was a distraction, and it was very uh, um, good to only think about where the ball was going and not think about anything else. So it was really helpful, and I, I love the game. It's a lot of fun. We have resources here that are state of the art. We have resources here that are convenient. We have resources here that are compassionate. The care that, that I received was the best I could have hoped for. And to have that here and not have to leave, I think really made me recover quickly. I think we are so blessed here in Lancaster to have the uh, LG Penn Medicine and Ambie Barshinger Cancer Institute here to take care of people who have to go through this.